Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Boogie. Hey, man, your boy's back in the building, man. As you can see, I'm back home. I'm back in my city. I'm back in Atlanta, man. Um, uh, this damn thing a little dirty. Uh, trying to shit on my cabana as I talk to y'all. Be in nature, you know, get some good sun. It's a little, it's a little windy out here. Um, I wanted to talk to y'all about letting go, man. Like, I know a lot of us, like, we'll go through something with somebody. Like, they might cheat on us. They might treat us in a way that we don't like to be treated. Um, and over time, it's like, it's still hard for us to let go of that person. And it's it's so crazy because it's like, if somebody does something to you, you would expect yourself to just be able to just let them go, you know? Just to... Let them be a figure of the past. You know, that's that's usually what you would imagine or what somebody would tell you to let go. I feel like everybody will say you got to let go of somebody, but nobody's helping anybody on how. Like, what's the proper steps to let go of somebody? Um, me personally, I want to share, share with y'all what I do to let people go. Um, and I mean, like, effectively, because I definitely get to points where I'm like, Okay, maybe I could forgive them because, you know, like, and maybe that wasn't really them. Maybe, and, you know, I go through the whole maybe process. You know, you know, after you forgive somebody, after some time passes, you start to convince yourself that maybe it wasn't what I thought. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's fixable. Maybe I just need to, I just need to work a little harder. Maybe if, if it's worth it, then we're supposed to, uh, you know, we're supposed to try harder. Me personally, I don't feel like something that's, Meant to be should be so hard. Now, I mean, I know we say that, yeah, you know, you got to. But I feel like that's a manipulation tactic. I feel like when people constantly drag that, well, if you want it, then you're going to make it work and stuff. Like when it comes to forgiving somebody and, and it, when it's time to let somebody go, I don't feel like it should it should hurt. I don't feel like you have to go to go through hurt when it comes to, um, you know, working hard for what you want in a relationship. I, I understand like building and like understanding each other on, on on different levels when it's like something like that came from trauma or something like that like if you guys let's just say you're dealing with somebody that's that was hurt in their past building with somebody like that it, it takes time you know but when it comes to somebody that's hurting you i don't think that should take time to to build from that i don't think you should continue to to try to figure out how to make things work from that now, I mean, I feel like there, there's certain things that's like a fine line. Like I'm not putting myself through that, you know, but what happens is we get we get um we get convinced that we're wrong because we get in this mode of like, oh, well, well, that's that's you're just overthinking. And then, you know, you start to overthink because subconsciously you really want to forgive this person. So you start to believe whatever they're telling you when all the while they're really manipulating you. Now, I mean, so there's a point in time where you just need to let go. And this is what I do to let go. One thing I, I make sure I do um, is that I'm clear in how this person is making me feel. Because by all means, as, as you can forgive people. Like, you can forgive people. If somebody hurts you, you can find forgiveness. God forgive us, forgives us, so we should be able to forgive people. But how do you feel when you're around this person? Do you still feel like you're on edge? Does your heart kind of hurt when you, like, like does your chest kind of hurt when you talk to this person because y'all always going back and forth? Like, does it feel like it's healthy to deal with this person? Or are you holding on to the memories that you had with this person? Are you holding on to the memories that you have of, that you had of who you thought this person was? Now, I mean, be careful that you're, you're, you're when you're forgiving somebody, you're forgiving them for them. For, for what you know that they just did, you, you're able to forgive them and be like, you know what? I can still see past that, even though it happened. I can still see past that and work, work, um, still work out with you. Okay, I'm coming. Go ahead, close the door. She done got in trouble at school, so she trying to get on my good side now. But, yeah, like I said, um, who was I? Yeah, man, we just get to this point where, like, we, 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 we convince ourselves that what we went through was okay in some type of manner. 
First thing I do, like I said, is I explain to myself, how does this person make me feel? This person makes me feel too uncertain. I don't like to go about my life. You have to be clear with yourself on how you want to feel, one, in a relationship. Like, if you want to feel secure in a relationship, if you want to feel like you can trust somebody in a relationship, if you feel like you you don't want to second guess somebody, you have to be clear with what exactly is it that you want out of a relationship. Then be real with yourself on... When you sitting in front of this person, this is an exercise you can do. Now, I mean, you can do this through anything in life. When you sit in front of the person, if you're on the phone with the person, ask yourself in your head, how do I feel right now? Now, I, you ain't got to say it out loud. How, how do I feel right now? Like my headaches, I'm a little confused. I'm a little conflicted because I don't know how this person feels. I'm tired of going back and forth. Like constantly, like, like I want you to tell yourself in your head. How do I feel when I'm in front of this person? Because you don't want to be stuck in the mode of how this person can make you feel. Be honest with yourself. How do I feel right now in this moment? Say that to yourself in the head. I mean, how do I feel when I'm in front of this person? You might even have to write it down. And that takes me to my second point. My biggest part of letting go is writing down everything. Like, I mean, a pen and a piece of paper. Writing down every single thing that this person has put me through. The good and the bad. And then I pay attention to which list is longer. And the thing about when you write, when you're writing on a piece, a piece of pen, uh, uh, when you're writing on a piece of paper, it's not a, a embarrassing conversation you're having with your best friend. It's not an embarrassing conversation you're having with your dad or your mom. It is an honest conversation you're having with you and yourself. It is you and your mind. It, you're letting your mind flow and and tell tell you through through the actions of the stroke of the pen what exactly it feels now i mean and you have to be as transparent as possible on that piece of paper then read it back read it back as if your best friend is telling you that they went through this because it's easy to tell your best friend that oh yeah girl you need to leave him this is crazy the thing about when you put it on paper you can look at the whole you can look at the whole grand scheme of things you can look at everything for what it is now i mean because a lot of times we forget what this person has put us through until we get back in front of them then we start to remember like wow i forgot you made me feel like this i forgot you make me question so much i forget i forget that we argue this much now i mean i i i forget all this you know so i feel like writing it down and just like kind of keeping a mental note of like Yo, this is too much for one person to put me through and to continue, you know, again. And then when they try to convince convince you like, wow, you're really going to leave me for this small thing. You know that you have it all jotted down. And I mean that, no, I've been through all of this with this person. I'm not going to let this person manipulate me into feeling like I'm leaving them for something that's small. This whole thing has been a buildup. I've watched a lot of people get manipulated um, by somebody that's playing with their heart, playing with the strings of their heart, because they, they the, the person that's doing the bullshit would, um, would be like, wow, you're really going to leave me for that? And it's like, I'm not just leaving you for this. I'm leaving you because of the buildup, the amount of things that I have been through being with you. Now, I mean, and then for this to happen was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Now, I mean, and, and mo a lot of times writing it down will just like let you just see the whole situation for what it is. Now, I mean, and then it, it'll, it'll probably make you a little emotional that you let yourself go through all of that. Like you, you may not be you. You may have forgave so many times. You may have came back so many times that you don't even realize how much you have been through with somebody. How much somebody like, OK, wait, if they did this and I forgave him for that and then they did this after they I forgave him for that. And then after I forgave him for that, they did it. You start to see it like on the piece of paper, you start to see it like, damn, it's a pattern. This person is not changing. They're just finding better and clever ways to make me feel bad for trying to leave. Now, I mean, that's it. And I'm getting tricked into it. I'm getting tricked into staying. Sometimes you have to remind, you have to remember how bad somebody made you feel. And I, I find a lot of um, clarity when I write it down. You know, I find a lot of a lot of clarity and insight when I just write it down, man. Y'all, you gotta you you don't want to fall a victim of a narcissist. If you don't want to, if you don't know what a narcissist is, I would advise you to look it up. What a narcissist is. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get my laptop. My laptop's on the on the. Uh, 
from the uh it's on the couch so let's look up the, the word narcissist real quick uh, oh excuse me let's look up the word narcissist real quick because a lot of people can't forgive people because they're dealing with a narcissist and a narcissist is a whole different level of somebody to deal with all right so i'm gonna read the characteristics of a narcissist you know what i mean y'all know on my page man I, I love psychology i really like i'm really tapping into what i love you know what i mean um i want to do some like like i might do a video of meditation on here anything like you know what i mean and i'm gonna still have entertainment I, i'm posting whatever i want to post my channel but i want to give y'all a real more than anything you know what i mean i want to talk about the deep rooted problems to a lot of things that we go through such as healing such as letting go such as just having peace so let's look up the word narcissist and like dealing with narcissism narcissism are uh, a narcissist a person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of themselves okay we need something let's look for an, a narcissist um in a relationship oh man there's birds and stuff out here Narcissist, narcissistic partners usually have difficulty really loving someone, loving someone else because they don't truly love themselves. They are so focused on themselves that they cannot really see their partner as a separate person. They tend to only see the partner in terms of how they feel their needs or fail to fill their needs. Now, I mean, um, 11 signs you're dating a narcissist. Let's talk about it. An inflated sense of importance. In other words, they feel like they're way more important than, I mean, than they actually are. A deep need for excessive attention and admiration. If you're not worried about me, then you're wrong. Like, why, why are you talking to such and such? Why, why, why are you with them? Why are you not with me? And I mean, when you know y'all spend a lot of time, there's a difference between, um, there's a difference between you're always with your friends and you just want to be with your friends for this one time and not be with your girl or be with your guy. And they make you feel like you're wrong for wanting to have a social life outside of them. That's nar that's narcissism. Know what I mean, and they make you feel bad for that. Now, I mean, they make you feel like like you're wrong for trying to have a life as well. A uh, lack of empathy for others. They're they're so worried. People that are so worried about how they feel what i feel like what i feel like but not really tapping into well how do you feel okay well i see your point of view okay um i never thought about it like that people that use those type of words aren't narcissistic now i mean they're usually not you know what i mean but people that say well okay well i mean i just feel like well i mean but you're not hearing what i'm saying after you just said a whole lot not they completely uh um they negate everything you just said they, they're not, um, I'm, I'm looking for an exact word. Like they, they don't answer to how you feel. They just constantly rebuttal with how they feel. Now, I mean, often having troubles in relationships, of course. Um, let's see. They were charming at first. They hogged the conversation talking about how great they are. They love talking about themselves. Um, they feed off of compliments. You got to constantly, I mean, it's a whole, it's a whole list. Now, I mean, um. I don't feel like all of these things are, te are technically bad people you should run away from. Like some people just, you know, they just really love themselves. But there's characteristics in the relationships that if you see these things, it's time to let go. Because the thing about narcissistic people, they can make you feel like you're wrong for doing something good for yourself. Again, going back to this list, they lack empathy. Now, I mean, what is empathy? Empathy is the wherewithal of how somebody else feels. Now, I mean, caring that, okay, yeah, I feel how I feel about um, a relationship, right? I, I feel how I feel about problems in life. Now, I mean, for instance, my daughter, she got in trouble today, right? But she got in trouble because she got in trouble in school, right? I feel how I feel. I'm mad that she got in trouble in school, right? But then I I also feel how she feels. Like I under, I'll say I understand how she feels that daddy's coming down on her. Now, I mean, I understand that when I was going, you know, for school, she was she missed she, most likely she missed me. Now, I mean, or because I wasn't around, it, she was a little bit more free. Now, I mean, so she did what she did. So that's that's having empathy. Now, I mean, like okay, I see where you're coming from, and I I see where I'm coming from. 
Narcissistic people don't see that. They will just constantly convince you to see their side and then you will forgive them. There's a time where you just need to let that go because you can be running in a damn hamster wheel. You could be running in a cat and, cat and mouse race. You know what I mean? And you're not even realizing it. The people around you, they may not be 100%. But, uh, I want to touch on that real quick. A lot of times, the people around you, I want you to assess who you're asking for advice as well. Like, really look at how somebody else goes about their relationship before you take advice for them. You know what I mean? Because people around you could be saying it's not a big deal because they tolerate that type of stuff. You know what I mean? You have to be as honest with yourself as possible. And what does that mean? How do I feel? Can I go like this for a lifetime? I don't know about y'all, but I date, like, to be with this person like i don't date people to just date like i date with you to be with you forever and if i can't see myself with you forever i cut it short you know i mean that's just how i am you know what i mean can you deal with whatever this this feeling that you're having not your friend is having based off of what you told her not your uh what your dad is is, is, is uh, uh feeling based off of what you told him not what your mom thinks based off of how y'all look in pictures none of that you got to be real with yourself. At some point in time, you got to let go of who you think somebody is and believe who they're showing you that they are. Now, I mean, um, yeah, I just want to show this. I just wanted to um, to make this video or whatever, because I know something I definitely struggle, struggle with. But I think writing it down has really helped me. Like it has always helped me because every time like I think about a person like either one, I could go back to the book where I wrote it down and I could just read all the reasons why I stopped talking to this person so I don't revert back, so I don't punch myself in the face again. Now, I mean, I'll, I'll, revert, I'll revert to that, now, I mean, and, and, and read that line for line. Or because you wrote it down, for some reason, like, it kind of, like, engraves in, in, in your head, like, of what you wrote down on that paper. It's deeper than just thinking about it. Now, what I mean, because you can think about something, thoughts pass. Like, yeah, right now I could think about, damn, I remember that time where, you know, she said this to me. But then I also remember that time when we was getting spicy and we was here and it was crazy. Now, I mean, I, I completely forgot about the first thing I was thinking. Now, I mean, but the, the first thing I was thinking was the part that hurts. That's the part that don't feel good. That's the part that I need to leave, you know. So writing it down to me has really helped understanding what kind of person you're dealing with again has really helped you know what i mean and knowing whether or not it's worth it and being real transparent with yourself on how you feel in that moment like look at a motherfucker while they talking that regular conversation hey so how was your day today this is you hey how was your day today i mean it was you know it was cool um it was straight okay well um you know, like, what, what did you enjoy about the day today? Like, what did anything good happen today? Um, it was, uh, nah, nothing really happened. In that moment, I want you to ask yourself, when you're having these conversations, now, I mean, it ain't got to be that dry, but ask yourself, this will be my thought in my head. Like, how, is, how do I feel right now? That's what meditation is. You can meditate without closing your eyes. It's just checking how you feel inside. I mean? In my head, I'm about to speak out loud, though. This is what I'm saying I, I, in my head, though. How do I feel right now? I feel like I'm I'm dragging to get this person to talk. I feel like I want to talk more than this person wants to talk. I feel like I'm being too needy because they're giving me a vibe that I'm not really wanting. I don't really, like, they don't really care to talk to me. You know what I mean? And in that moment, remember that feeling. Now, I mean, remember that feeling of how this per and then see if it's consistent. If they keep making you feel like that, that is how that person naturally feels. I don't think you can make somebody feel a way that, that feel a different way from how they naturally feel. If somebody continuously acts a certain way towards you, that's how they naturally feel. That's how they're going to sit here and blow smoke in your ear and out the other. I mean, and make try to make it make sense or, or talk about how they're going to change. If somebody keeps doing the same thing and you're ex expecting different, that's insanity. I mean, just some at some point you got to be like, all right, I can't keep listening to what this person's saying. I got to like watch what they're doing. And that's what you go with. That will help you, like, understanding that, seeing that, writing it down, uh, uh, being clear on how you feel with this person will help you let go. And then I want you to talk to yourself the same way you talk to your child. Look at that piece of paper and say, 
Do I deserve that? What, does your child deserve that? Now, I mean, your inner child, does that person deserve that? Everything that's on that piece of paper, does your child deserve for that piece of paper to be longer? Ask yourself that. Now, I mean, give yourself that same level of respect that you would, that you would give to a child. Now, I mean, love yourself to that level. A lot of us are loving people, loving other people more than we love ourselves, yo. We loving people more than we love. Our, we sit here and forgive other people so much. And we take these that I, I equate forgiving somebody as fighting somebody that whooped my ass before and I'm fighting them again without putting my hands up, without guarding, without putting my, I mean, without guarding, like, because I'm, I'm letting you, I'm bringing you back. I know how hard you hit, but I'm going to bring you closer to me again. And I mean, to possibly do it again, but hope you don't do it again. At some point in time, it's like, nah, every time I bring this person close to me, they punch me in my face. Yeah, they come with the clever words. Yeah, I go back to who I hope they're go who I hope they are. Now, I mean, I go back to those thoughts. Then they expose to me who they actually are. Then they tell me they're not that person, but they keep being the exact person that I'm seeing they are. And then I forgive them. And then it's a cycle. It just keeps doing it over and over. So what happens? I write it down and I'm like, I don't deserve this. Hey, man, it's your boy, Ty Boogie, man. I really hope this video resonated with somebody. I'm going to call this video How to Let Go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because at some point in time, it is time to let it go. Call it of something of the past and let it be a distant memory of a, a, a lesson learned in your life. And I mean, there's certain things in life that, it, that it happened so you can learn from it. It happened to me so I could repeat it to somebody else. It happened to me so I could uh, make sure it don't happen to my little brother. It happened to me so I could say it to y'all. It happened to me so I don't do it again. Know what I mean, it happened to me so growth can happen through. I'm coming, baby. So, okay. So growth can happen through my dating process. Now, I mean, so growth can happen within myself. So now I have space to love myself more. There's nothing more powerful that you can do than let for yourself than letting something go that is not good for you. OK, if something has never been good for you, if something is repeatedly showing that it's not good for you, stop doing it. All right. Stop doing it. If you know. Fast food and candy uh, bring you cavities, make you gain weight, and all this, the whole nine, not getting no sleep, makes you sleep deprived. Stop doing it to yourself. Now, I mean, all of the, you got to understand, you only have one body, you only have one mind, you only have one life. Now, I mean, I had three fingers up just now. You only have one of those things. Now, I mean, so you have the power to take care of this one that you have. No, don't put the power in somebody else's hands to take care of what you have. You have to take care of what you have. You own this life. Know what I mean, so th there is a lot of things in this life we need to let go. I'm going to give you another example and then I'm going to go. <laughs> now, I mean, another thing I want to ease off of is the nightlife. I'm not only talking about relationships. There's things in your life you got to let go. There's, 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 there's family members you got to let go. Because what, what do I do? I write down, how does this make me feel? Now, man, how does it make me feel when I'm in the nightlife? I, I, I wish I had my book. My book is upstairs. When I'm in the nightlife, there's a lot of iffy, um, there's a lot of iffy vibes. I don't like that. Now, man, um, it's not really safe. You know, I don't like feeling like I got to be on edge when I'm with my bros. It's like the only thing to really do is to entertain females. And then even entertaining females, that can go wrong and ruin the whole night. I mean, so I don't really want to do that. I mean, and then I can't really mingle and talk to my boys because the music's too loud. So it's like I do this whole breakdown of, OK, yeah, this is something you've been doing for a long time. You've been doing this since college. But how does it truly make you feel? And when you go through this, through everything you do in life, such as your job, your, your everything you do, when you break it down like this, you can have a, a more fulfilling life because you're being honest and true to your feelings. Now, I mean, there's growth in that. Letting go of who you used to be, letting go of the of the person that will forgive everything. You don't have to forgive everything. Stop letting people finesse you into forgiving everything forgiving everybody forgiving is just dropping your guard for somebody to swing at you again could they possibly not swing 
Yeah. Could they possibly swing? Yeah. You have to tell yourself when you've took too many blows or you're going to keep hurting yourself. You're going to have to heal again. You're going to have to go back to the drawing board. You're going to have to. You don't listen, man. Be real with yourself. You are the only one that's living this life that you're living. You watching this video right now. You're the only one. You know what I mean, so make the best out of it and stop letting people finesse you out, out of out of happiness and, fi and finesse you out of what you actually deserve. You know what I mean, it is a time to let go. All right. And let me be the one to say it. All right. So I hope this video helps somebody. I hope this video inspires somebody. It was really on my heart. Um, and it's something that I do. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Hey, man, I know it, it, it ain't never as easy as just saying it, but it can be as easy as doing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> if, if you put in that work. Hey, man, be honest with yourself. It's your boy, Top Boogie. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Send it to a friend that needs it. You feel me? Until next time, hey, man, if you could download my app in the description below, I really appreciate it. Hey, hey and I got an affirmation app um, coming out for people that's going through breakups or, um, you know, any type of turmoil in their relationships or whatever. I got that coming out real soon. My birthday, May 29th. It should be coming around around that time. Hey, man, it's your boy, Ty Boogie. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'm loving this new community that I'm gaining of adults that's, that's following me. Hey, man, it's your boy, Boogie Oogie. Until next time, I'm out of here, man. Peace.